Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a review of the Swiss Beauty's Kiss Candy Lip Balms. Now they have come out in six flavors. I have all the six flavors with me. Now, before we can get into the video and if you have not already, then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to be notified whenever I upload. And now let's jump right in the video. So first let's quickly go over with the key benefits of these lip balms. Now it says that it is enriched with natural ingredients or Kiss Candy Lip Balm cares for your skin while acting as a perfect shiny overlay for your lipstick. Olive oil and vitamin E in this lip balm known for their moisturization property keeps lips nourished and soften chappy lips. No chip chip. This creamy texture of this lip balm glides easily on your lips and leaves a non-sticky feel. Transfer resistant transfer resistant how can this be a transfer resistant it's a lip balm like who wrote this who wrote this thing <laughs> anywho go flaunt your pout swiss beauty kiss candy uh, all that stuff available in six tinted fruity shades that give you a fruity punch while keeping your lips nourished it is a cruelty free paraben free and alcohol free making it safe for your lips now like i mentioned before they offer a total of six flavors and these are priced at 99 rupees for 10 ml of product so this is how the packaging looks like it is color coordinated the name is mentioned right in the front and at the back you have all the other information and this is how the applicator looks like now i was contemplating if i should do a lip swatch for a lip balm but yeah it is going to be in minimal makeup and uh, let's move on to the lip swatches Alright, so there are four topics that I want to talk about. First is the formula. Now, the formula for this one, it is quite thick in consistency. Now, before that, the two most favorite lip balms that I use a lot every day. The first one is the Burt's Bee lip balm. It is a very thin sort of a consistency, but it is extremely moisturizing. So I really like that for the daytime. However, for the nighttime, I do prefer and love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I have a ton of it. Now, the reason I'm saying this one is because the Swiss Beauty one, it is kind of similar. It's like 
five percent less thicker than the Laneige one. However, if you go over with a second layer or a second coating of the lip balm, then it is quite similar formula wise to the Laneige one. At the same time, it is quite thick and moisturizing on the lips. So I personally prefer to use this overnight rather than in the daytime. Next up is about the packaging. It does come in a tube form and once you open the cap, the applicator is a very old school lip gloss sort of an applicator and actually it works really well with the formula. Since the formula is very soft, smooth and thick, this sort of an applicator actually helps make it glide on very smooth if that makes sense. So yeah, I do like this packaging quite a lot. The third topic is about the fragrance or the smell of these lip balms. Now all of them they do have a smell now some of them they do smell stronger some of them they do smell very very faint now let me talk about the ones that smell very faint and it was low-key a disappointment for me there are two of them first is the shade peach this has very light peach smell to it i can smell more of the oil like if you go and smell olive oil how does it smell like that is how I can smell it. The peach fragrance is very faint in this. So yeah, personally for me, this was a disappointment. And the next disappointment for me was the cherry flavor because cherry, I had very high hopes. I thought it will smell very fruity like cherry and uh, yeah, it hardly smells of cherry. Like comparatively, the peach, I can still smell the peach a bit compared to the cherry. The cherry, it's very faint. So yeah. Next up is a pomegranate. Now this does not smell as less as the other two. It does have a smell, you can smell it, but again, it is quite faint, but not as faint as the other two. Next is a watermelon. Now this was the first lip balm that I tried because I love anything that smells like watermelon. This is one of my favorite fruits after mango. So yeah, watermelon is something that I tried first. I can smell it, it's not like I cannot, but then it is not as strong as I was expecting it to be, but yeah, you can smell it, so. That's watermelon. So in second place we have is the flavor mulberry. Now this smells very berryish. It's nice and fruity. Now this kind of reminds me of the frutella candy. Like I will insert a picture over here. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it smells kind of similar to it. It's not as strong as that, but kind of similar. So yeah, second place mulberry. And in the first place and my most favorite flavors out of all of them is coffee bean. Now I am a coffee lover. I love the smell. It smells so good. And at the same time, it is quite strong as well. Like it smells even after like 20 minutes after application, I can still smell it. And by the way, if you are sensitive to strong smell, I would suggest avoiding this and go for something which is much more lighter. But if you love coffee and if you do not mind the smell of coffee on your lips, you will love this. Oh, and again, like I mentioned before, it doesn't last very long. It's like 15, 20 minutes and then it disappears. So yeah, FII. Now let's talk about the tint or the color payoff of these lip balms. Now bear in mind that these are not like pigmented or anything of that sort. It has a very slight sheen of color on it. And even when you apply a very thin layer, it doesn't show up. Or whenever you press your lips together, it doesn't show up. You will have to layer it up uh, almost like two or three layers to get something of a color on your lips. So first let's talk about the flavors which do not have any color on it, which is peach and watermelon. Now these both almost go on transparent. Even after you like layer it up two or three times, it doesn't have any color to it. Next up we have is cherry, which gives a very slight reddish sort of a tint. But again, if you do layer it up as well, slightly it is visible. Now similar to that is mulberry. It does give a slight purple sort of a hue. And again, you will have to layer it up to see somewhat on the lips and again if you have pigmented lips it may not show up at all next is pomegranate it is kind of a bright so it is more or less like an orangish reddish kind of a color so it does show up a bit more like in second layer a slight slight bit of color shows up and last up we have is a coffee bean which gives a very sheer brownish kind of a color now that is what i've applied on my lips as well so yeah but this is after like two or three layers of it so overall in my personal opinion yes absolutely yes the formula is amazing the packaging is very simple at the same time it works the third thing is that it is only 99 rupees that is it and you can actually pick it up for much much more cheaper so yeah, this is an absolute banger. I really do like these lip balms and do highly recommend them as well. Oh, and my most favorite is the coffee bean flavor. So yeah, if you are not that sensitive to strong smell, 
you will like this and also if you love coffee you will love this so yeah these were my thoughts on the candy kiss lip balms from swiss beauty and this finally wraps today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did then do not forget hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try my set for you as well as follow me on my socials which now are on instagram and it's on twitter as well so until next time take care bye